And you want to know something? It fucking sucks that we have to go get our teeth cleaned at the dentist once a year and that we can't just have good teeth without that. And it sucks that we have to monitor our diet to stay fit. And it sucks that we have to work hard to produce results. All that just fucking sucks. Why couldn't it be that like, you know, you could just be kind of like born and you just kind of like have the money given to you and the girls given to you and like all this shit. You don't have to do any of this shit. Maybe someday in the future, this is not even inconceivable. We could have a future where with genetic engineering, you're just jacked. You're just fucking jacked. But that's not you. And it didn't happen yet. So until that is you, you have the other fate, which is you're gonna have to hustle. That's your fate. That's just how it is, okay? That's how it is. You're gonna have to actually apply yourself and challenge yourself. That's how it is. Because we're not genetically engineered yet. And we don't have a utopian society yet where shit's just given to you. And if you don't focus, you're gonna be a broke little fucking loser in the dirt and you're gonna eat shit, okay? Motivation is bullshit. Motivation doesn't get anything done. Motivation gets you going. Discipline, commitment, Strong habits is what gets things done. You need to literally pick up your video game machine, smash it to fucking pieces, walk out your house, get in your car, go somewhere. You need to shake up your life like it's never been shook up before. Greatness is not this uh, wonderful, esoteric, elusive, God-like feature that only the special among us uh, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die. Period. talent you have naturally. Skill is only developed by hours and hours and hours of beating on your craft. I don't want to play anymore. If you do this and you're successful, then it's, wow, you know, that guy, you're an amazing athlete. Oh, it's, they can't say enough wonderful things, you know. But if you do it and, you know, the end result is what looks like failure then or something less than the desired end result, then suddenly it's, wow, that guy was stupid, you know. Why would he do something so dumb? Imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the ghost of the ideas, the dreams, the abilities, the talents given to you by life and that you, for whatever reason, you never acted on those ideas, you never pursued that dream, you never used those talents, we never saw your leadership, you never used your voice, you never wrote that book. And there they are standing around your bed looking at you with large angry eyes saying we came to you and only you could have given us life and now we must die with you forever. The question is, if you die today, what ideas, what dreams, what abilities, what talents, what gifts would die with you? Change them? No! It's a full-time job changing yourself! And 
most there are some people that are so negative they can walk into a dark room and begin to develop. He's pulling down on the glove hand, but that's already trapped. Reynolds in trouble! Reynolds yeah. has We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living room. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being! God damn it! My life has value! So I'm happy tonight, I'm not worried about anything! I'm not fearing any man! Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord! But sheep being herded to the final slaughterhouse. I will not go down that way. I choose to fight back. I choose to live, not die. And I know, I know that what's within me is also within you. If you know why you're doing something, when the hard times come and they're going to come, when the disappointments and the rejections come and they're going to come by the truckload, your reasons will be your rod and staff to comfort you, to pick you up once again. Life knocks you down, try and land on your back, because if you can look up, you can get up. Let your reasons get you back up. Look up. Get up. And don't ever give up.